Hey everybody, this is Nick from OVA Let's Plays, and today's video we'll be doing Moon Lord Weapons versus Fishron. Now, before the 1.3 update, uh, I think a lot of people will probably agree with me that Fishron is was the toughest boss before 1.3. After 1.3, of course, there's the Moon Lord. But so I figured uh, we might as well just have uh, Moon Lord weapons versus Fishron, just to show how overpowered the or how powerful the weapons are. So we'll, right now we're wearing nebula armor, so we're going to be doing magic weapons. The last prism and the mythical lunar flare first. So we'll do that first. So. And of course, for added insult to injury, I'm wearing the the uh, wearing the moon lord mask. Here we go. Boom, got him beat just like that. Um, so here we go, the next one, the next one we're gonna do is, of course we're gonna fight, is that a yellow part? That's weird. Oh, it's a Splunker potion, okay. There we go, so we'll go ahead and collect these buffs, there we go. Heal up a little bit. Now we'll use the lunar flare next. There we go. We'll zoom out a little bit. There we go. This is awesome. This is so cool. Alright, come on. As you can tell, tell the lunar flares have a little bit, a little bit tricky to aim. That's why I like the last prison better, it's so much just easier to aim and hit, the, hit your target. The good news though is if if the enemy does if your enemy you're fighting can't go through um, walls and you can shoot from outside. What the Man, Sharknado got me guys. I was not paying attention, that's my fault. So Go and go ahead and fish already in stealth mode. And it says 210 range damage. There we go. It says 210 range damage with 78% critical strike chance. My god. And 68 critical strike chance with that. Look at the rocket damage too. And celebration. That's glitching out a bit weird, but okay. Summon them up. Here we go. All right, we're gonna have to get out of get out of stealth mode, or else I'm gonna else we're gonna die. Still doing power, pretty good damage here. No! I hate Fishron. I hate Fishron. Even even with the 1.3 armor, he's still he's still so fast. He still might be tougher than Moonlord. 
I mean, if I had the nurse with me, it wouldn't be so bad. I still think that the fish run is arguably tougher than the moon lord. He's so freaking fast and everything. But we'll keep fighting. I appreciate your patience. It took, when I beat Fishron the first time, it took me forever to beat him. And from watching this video, you can probably see why. Um, no! What the? I swear, I hate Fishron. I really do. So this time we're gonna beat him, and we're gonna we're gonna fight him, and we're gonna beat him this time. There we go. Knew I could beat him, it's just... <sighs> okay, go ahead and get some more of the pops here. There we go. Now we'll go back down. Twice like that. Now we'll check out the celebration. Celebration does 189 with 68% critical strike chance. Rockets do 164, so and I think it fires two of them, so we should be pretty good to go. I think melee is going to be the best. to be in a whoosh. Wow. Alright, now we can switch to melee finally, which is my favorite out of all of them is melee. Because it usually has the best defense and usually low maintenance. You don't have to worry too much about bullets or, or magic potions or anything. Here we go. So we'll first start out with the, with the Star Wrath. And work our way to Meow Mir and then the Terrarian from there. So here we go. We'll heal up a little bit first. There we go. There we go. And I'll go ahead and summon these up to help as well. So I'm less likely to die like a fool. Just like I thought, I figured with the melee, the armor is so good that I'm, that I'm doing pretty well for a surviving. Up oh, the blood moon, the blood moon, oh my god, oh my god, blood moon, oh my god, blood moon. Okay, come on, come on. Bam. 
the Star Wrath, we beat him no problem at all. I'll give a little bit more time to heal. Get some Meow Mirror set up here. Now I have an idea to make a little bit OP to start off with, but first, first we'll wait and have a bunch of these up like this. Get just a bunch of them going and then fish for them real quick. There we go. So far, along with the last prison, this has been the easiest weapon to beat him with, but I think, and I have a feeling that the Terrarian will probably be the easiest to beat him with, because it's the most likely Flail Ron out of all of them, and the Flail Ron is one of the easiest weapons to beat him with, it's almost like very low effort to beat him with that. So this this time we're going to put the yo-yo bag on, yo-yo bag, um, put that on, and see how it goes from here. So let's see with the with the solar flare armor we got 109 117 with the potion on there defense so we should do pretty good. And we got 320 melee damage plus 50% critical strike chance with the terrarium. So as you can see I think this is gonna be the easiest to beat him with. And if it's if it's easy enough, then then I might just uh, fight him more than once with it. Here we go. Oh man, this is so easy. Look at that. Look at that. Look how much easier it is to beat him with this compared to. I still think the Flareon is still easier to beat him with that than this even, but it's still not too bad a weapon. Bam. Okay, we beat him. Yay! All right, that was the last weapon. Um, so that was that. That that was Moon Lord versus um, Moon Lord weapons versus Flay Ron, uh, Fish Ron. Moon Lord weapons versus Fish Ron. So uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. Please comment, share, subscribe. Please share it with your friends. It helps out a lot. And please like. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a good day.